I think Tim's about to leave if he finds out. Does everyone have a PS5 but me? Because I'm the only one. Did you pick? Yeah, I guess we're ready. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, hey, everybody. Welcome to the Millennial Stoner. My name is Joe Winchell. I am the Millennial Stoner. It's my tagline. I'll say it every beginning of every fucking show. I'd like to yell out to my friend uh, uh, Alexander because he gave me a ticket to go see Motley Crue last night. And uh, it's so awesome uh, to see a band that should be dead still alive. Well, Vince Neil kind of sounds like he's dead, but whatever. I actually call him Vince Meals now. I have a very special guest today. Um, a guy I think is very funny. He's a comedian. Um, I'm sure he does other stuff. Tim Thompson. <laughs> Thank you, Joe, for having me. Thanks for coming, man. Thank you. No, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, I, I like your intro. You, you I thought you were going to go. Very yeah. repetitive. Yeah, it is. Yes. So repetitive. <laughs> can you but, even remember what you just said? Yeah, I can. Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Millennial Stoner. I'm Joe Winchell. I am the Millennial Stoner. I say that every fucking show. I'm not going to stop now. Quick shout out to my friend Jay. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> you know how many stone people are very confused? Like, ah, oh, my thing's skipping. What the no, fuck? Man. It's like, what happened? But well, thank, thank you for having me, Joe. And thanks for coming, man. Um, and thanks for the beer, too. You are a comedian. Yes. How long have you been doing comedy for? Oh, jeez. Uh, 15 years? 15 that's years. That's embarrassing, right? 15 years. I mean, years. no. You're, I think you've... I think out of all my guests, you're the one that's been doing it the longest at this point? Yeah, no. Then again, yeah. Embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, he's still here? I saw him at an open mic. Yeah, I... Uh, that's well, uh, Arrested Development. It's not just a show. <laughs> Um, so you've been doing it for 15 years. Yeah, give or take. Uh, I like your style of comedy. You kind of remind me of Norm Macdonald a little bit. I've never heard that before. No. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? I heard that as a kid. Uh, really? People, like, people's parents would tell me, like, oh, you sound like Norm Macdonald or, uh, uh, Jesus, the other comic, uh, Stephen Wright. I, was I Stephen would hear Wright. Stephen Wright. Yeah. Uh, like, Stephen Wright, I didn't know who that was. I only knew him from... The guy on the couch from Half Baked. That yeah, was that was actually this was before that. But uh, I, I mean, he was a popular comedian who was huge. Uh, I, I guess he got his break on the Tonight Show. Yeah, he did. Like yeah, uh, yeah. Carson, uh, but Norm I got because he was also the, uh, he was the host of the news on SNL during yeah, that period. Great, yeah. So like, oh, you sound like him. Like, all right. Like, and then I would listen. Did you just to, lean into it. No, it just, <laughs> uh, you know what? Then it, it becomes like, which is the part? Was I inspired by him because I do enjoy his comedy, or did I always? Am, am I drawn to him because I sound like him? Like, hey, it's another guy that sounds like me. You know, like, yeah, when, yeah. you know, like certain animals go towards each other. Like, hey, yeah. you're another duck. I'm gonna go. <laughs> you know, because I used to have these pet ducks. I'm just gonna go back. Like, I, I got go drunk one Easter and I bought these ducks. <laughs> Wait, 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 you were just drunk one Easter? Yeah, one Easter. Well, you know how during the Easter season, they like if you go to crazy pet stores, they have more ducks and yeah, chicks and everything? Yeah, because you get them for the little kids. They get the little chicks. They yeah. actually stopped doing that. Did they? Uh, or they, uh, oh, some is areas that what stopped. Tim Law is? Damn. <laughs> you know your life's not good when there's a law named after you, but I went into, I don't know if you remember, BTJ's, which is like one of those pet stores yeah, where they have crazy BTJ's. shit. Like, yeah. oh, oh, come in the back. We have, uh, you know, we have a, a chupacabra. <laughs> and they have these wacky animals. Oh, you, you want a sugar glider? Screw that. We actually have a pterodactyl. <laughs> it's just alligator with a just an alligator with the fucking cardboard wings on it. Yeah. It's like ah, it's a staple. But the, uh, I went in there and it, they had ducks. And I'm like, I'm gonna buy these ducks. And the guy's like, Well, you have to buy six. That's the minimum. You have to wait. You had the minimum of six ducks. Mi that's the law. I'm like, that's the, I mean, this is all. This is outside the law to begin with. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I, you know, I'm not that drunk. And I heard another woman yelling the same thing. And like, I went up to her like, Listen, if you buy these ducks, you buy six ducks. I'll meet you in the parking lot and I'll buy three off you. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What? Yeah. Okay. I got to hear the rest of it. So, wait, this lady was like, I don't want to pay full price for these yeah. ducks. I'll get this guy to buy the ducks. No, no, no. I, I'm not going to buy. She's going to buy the ducks. Okay. Keep up here, Joe Winchell. I'm sorry. I'm high. Yeah. And this, is, <laughs> this is the kind of story it's told when that know, happens. This is, why I, this is good. So, uh, she's angry. Like, I don't want six ducks. I'm like, yeah, right? Hey, lady, if you buy those six ducks, I will go out there and buy three of the ducks off you, and you'll have. Half the amount of ducks, Three ducks that you're buying. And she's like, sold. So we shook hands. And uh, she came out in the parking lot. What an agreement. <laughs> it's the duck agreement. It's the duck agreement. Yeah. <laughs> duck, duck, silly goose. <laughs> this is buy some ducks. You handshake and quack at yeah. the same time. So I bought the little ducks. They were great. Uh, eventually they got bigger. And my landlord's like, you got to get rid of those ducks. You know, we would be outside playing with them. But they were loud. 
You know, they're like a baby. It's like they would just quack all night. Well, the, the little ducks. No, these were when they grew up. They they became full. They were peking ducks, which is the white ones with the yellow bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they can't fly. Yeah. So uh, eventually, I went to this. There's a farm in Northport, uh, Carroll. Yeah, I've heard of the duck yeah. farm. From- and there was a bunch of ducks there, and we went over there, and we threw them over the fence. What do you mean you threw them over there? You just set them kind of for... Yeah, and they put ran... put them into captivity? Yeah, and they ran to the group of other ducks, and they loved them. They, they mixed around like, our job is done. So what I'm saying is... Why then... just bring them to the park? No, they were not... I... Because I was afraid of predators. There wouldn't be... At least they'd be yeah, taken care fair. of. And no, that's food. fair. That's fair. It, it was an actual working farm. It was a petting zoo farm, kind of. So they'd be, they're not going to be eaten. They're going to live there. So I threw them over there. So I'm saying the ducks ran to each other because they knew each other. So that's why I gravitated towards Norm Macdonald. Circle. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I've been told my setups might be a little too long and convoluted. I mean, it's it's luckily I, I have to sit here and pay attention to you, so it's been going. That's why really I love well. this. This is what I love about <laughs> podcasts. Someone is forced to listen to me. I know <laughs> everyone likes to get up off the bus. I come back, you know. I want to keep telling my story, and then you have to get off the bus because you're not a twelve year old kid. That one petered off a little bit. Anyway, <laughs> so that's <laughs> I can see. all right. That was good. Chris left. Um, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, so you did comedy for 15 years, uh, Ducks, Norm MacDonald. Uh-huh. Um, I've, do you, I like to ask, I don't like to ask people exactly how they write, because I think everybody does it differently and everything like that, but you're, when, I've, I, you guys, your stuff always seems so stream of consciousness to me, the times I've seen you perform and everything. Yeah. Is that like, do you write anything down? Like, what's your thing? A lot Unless of my, you don't want to like reveal no, your No, no, a lot secrets. of my jokes I find, like, I wake up the next day and I've written them in lipstick on the wall. And, uh, <laughs> like, they'll come to me, and I wake up, and I write it. And it's either, like, it's in these hieroglyphs, and then I have to look at my notes previously, yeah. what the letters line up to. And then, like, uh, hold those together all yeah. the light and see what lines up. Uh, uh, <laughs> on a staff <laughs> in my neighbor's basement, and he comes through, and he comes like, get out of my basement! And like, no, and I steal his jam. I have the staff of Roe. I need to figure out what I wrote last night. <laughs> that's a... <laughs> that's a Swifter. <laughs> it could be both. <laughs> The Swifter is the staff. It's the right height. Leave me alone. I, I do. I have a notebook. I, yeah. I do write. Uh, I don't actually do the whole set time to write. Uh, do if I. it comes yeah. to me, I will write it down. I will yeah, try to too. remember it and try to also work into uh, regular conversation, which is psycho, but it's the best way to work things I was, out. That's something I wanted to ask you about, too, actually. Like, that... What I, I that was something that somebody suggested to me, like I started when I started, like, like a couple of years ago, and it just seems like something that a psychopath would do. But the few times I've done it, I've gotten some pretty interesting results. Yeah. Uh, I was just going to ask you, like, do you just, like, all of a sudden in the conversation, you just go, yeah, it's really interesting about uh, what you saw on CNN. Anyway, I was watching this frog cross the road the other day, and I was thinking, like. <laughs> uh, kind of. I yeah. mean, I'd probably wait for a better way to yeah, exactly. get in there than CNN. <laughs> I get very excited. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. I see that. You know, you have very tight pants. Calm down. Thank you. <laughs> see how excited you are. <laughs> No, I got it. No, you don't. Oh, I don't You're have almost hair. there. <laughs> I love when I see guys hanging out. It's, it's kind of like the hanging there, baby, kitten thing. Like, I'm sorry if this is a sore oh, subject. No, I, it I know. Like, no, it's fine. Actually, it's it's only a sore subject when, like, my friends who are overweight make fun of me for oh, it. Oh, no. Like, that's like when I'm like, I, was like, I can wear a medium shirt still. Like, what's your excuse? <laughs> At this point in my life, I can't make fun of anyone for hair. I don't make fun uh, of anybody. I don't, but, but that's just like I can't anymore because I'm in this. I'm like I have don't have a leg to stand on in this conversation. So if I ever like you know do roast jokes, like well I can't re-, unless the hair is completely insane. <laughs> like I gotta say something. You got you gotta be stopped. I don't think I've ever seen any like out in the wild. I mean I've seen some wacky. No, that's not true. I call old Italian man hair. What explain what that looks like? Uh, it's, it it comes in a various varied forms. Um, the purest form of it, and it's always, you know, it's always very dark hair, uh, and it's usually matted down really hard, but, like, it's got the one thing in the front, the very one thing in the front, there's basically nothing here, and it's just matted all the way back, so it kind of makes a very small, like, you know what I mean? Like, you're able to slick it back, but it's very, like, thin. You can just see through the top of it. What is it called, that thing in the front? Is that... The Widow's Peak? Buffon, but no, not the... Buffon, technically, that's another name for the front of it. Yeah. I have a friend with Buffon, like, well, she's a girl, but it's puffy. So it's the puff in the front. Did you have that? No. It was like no. a fr- or did you have like a fryer tuck I had thing? very thin, yeah. yeah. It was, uh, 
not thin hair. What do you call it? Fine. Yeah. Fine. So I had, yeah. Oh my god, the part in the middle for years. You yeah, know, the, like, what was I called the Sean Hunter? Oh really? Yeah. Oh Sean. That's oh, what it see, is. That's the Sean Hunter. I say Edward Furlong. Like, see, but I, I, also see, the cool kids had the hair had that haircut in the late eighties. And then, like, throughout the 90s, every, like, bad boy had the Sean Hunter bowl cut. Yeah. Or the, yeah, the John Connor. The John Connor, which I guess is probably the most respectable way to call it. The I mean, he was the original, guy. technically. Everybody was just mimic. John Connor stopped the stopped uh, Judgment Day while wearing a Public Enemy shirt and yeah. camo pants. Like, yeah. that was, like, the coolest look I'd ever seen in my life. With Budnick on the back of his motorcycle. He yeah, was man. living the dream. All because he defied the cops. Budnick yeah. helped save the future. <laughs> Budnick. Here's the Budnick saving humanity. Here's the Budnick saving humanity. Oh, my God. He didn't need no donkey lips. <laughs> That's a Salute Your Short own. reference. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of these as this episode goes on. Uh, salute Your Short references? No, I, I think love it might Salute be Your done. Shorts. Oh, my God. I talked about this when, when Perillo was on. Did he? Was he pro or con Salute Your Shorts? I can't remember. We ended up talking about uh, t- uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple, and we wanted to see if we could look up the statistics to Legends of the Hidden Temple. Oh, my God. So did someone keep the statistics for Legend of... Oh, probably... We did. Didn't we find... Chris, didn't we find the... Who, yeah. Which team... What We did. We found which team won the most. Which team won... What was the one? J- the Red Jaguars? I don't remember. It's like my favorite team won the least. It was like the Silver Monkeys won the least or something like uh, that. Oh, it sounds rigged. <laughs> It's ridiculous. I always wanted to be on one of those shows. Uh, I want, yeah, ask you. are a little older than me. What are you, like a Finders Keepers kid? Yeah. I mean, Agro Craig, which one? Oh, is Guts. that Guts? Yeah, yeah with Michael O'Malley, really the craziest right. host of all time. Oh, my God. I've been told I look like him. I feel like you would look more like him if you did the wild movements and crazy voice. Yeah. Probably. But you look like him now. You don't look like him then. Okay. He's like the curly hair. So I, I, look like like, are... I look like him at his crappiest point in his life. <laughs> just saying, at the I... lowest moment. I... We're looking it up. Look. Snow Piercer. Mike O'Malley. Look Snow at... Piercer level. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah, look, Mo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there he is with the hat. I think he has a he's a beard he, now. He was right? in a and show. Look up him on Snow Piercer. Yeah, he was in a show where he had uh Yeah, Snow Piercer. He was on Snow Piercer. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. So yeah. Ah, oh, crap. That's the goatee. Oh, he looks like weird. And that's exactly how I look when I wear a uniform to try to get into places I he should. He looks like such a Russian general. <laughs> no, he's the head of security on a train that can't stop during an ice age. Come on. I read that comic. It's a crazy... Uh, isn't it... Was it a comic? I thought it was a movie crap. directed by a Korean written by a Frenchman for American movies. No, that's... Starring well, Captain that's, America. That's most movies now, but... <laughs> Um, no, it was, a it was a graphic novel. The All TV right. shows more about, like, they did one section of it. Well, like, there was they, a movie. There was a movie. The movie was based on, like, By the Bong, le- right? Yeah, director Bong, I think it was. The guy who did, uh, he did this weird-ass movie about the, the super pig. Super pig? Yeah. Chris, you know what I'm talking about? Say What was the, the guy, uh, director Bong is his name. He did, like, a Netflix movie about some, like, Oh, some, you know what? I know Ocho, what you're whatever the fuck it was. Otho? Type in Netflix pig movie. ESPN Ocho. Yeah. He also yeah, did Bong, Parasite. Yeah, he did Parasite. He did, uh, what was the other one about the monster? Oka Jaga. Sorry, I, I'm... Oh, fuck. Does that make me racist? I didn't mean to say that. Yeah, Akja. It's about, it's, he's like, it's like okay. a, they make a super animal. Yeah. To like, and the whole point of it is like, to, this like and it's all American cast, for the except for this girl... And uh, wait, the Akja is American though. Yeah, it looks yeah, American. yeah. Well, you can only get yeah. him in America. That's yeah. the whole thing. It's a Texas from bread. Alabama or te- Texas. Yeah, it's a Texas bred <laughs> super pig. Yeah, look, that's the whole cat. And Giancarlo Esposito is in it. One of my favorite fucking villain actors ever. I don't know if he, I don't think he plays a villain in this though. Yeah. Has he ever been good? Well, you know what it is. I think ever since he played Gus Fring. Yeah. Well, he was a good cop in uh, Usual Suspects, right? Dude, he was in Usual Suspects, right? Yeah. Yes. Yo, look up Gene. I'm, I'm jumping he was, around. Chris. He was the one. He was the one doing the sketch for the guy dying yes, in the hospital. Yes, wait, you're right. Never mind. I figured it out. Don't look it up. I Leave it on. I with my words as a good comic would. Fifteen I years. I don't need Google. Tim is Google. I am Google. <laughs> I am Google. <laughs> what school did you go to? Who what was your, was your dog's what does name? He do? You know what classic I was watching earlier? What were you watching earlier? Crank. Dude, that movie rules. That is such a two thousands movie or aughts whatever like this is which was the pinnacle of the nineties yeah. the aughts was the end of the nineties like it was just extremely it, 
Well, that was extreme. That was the joke. Every that's it, it was the fast and everything was fast and the furious. Yeah. Everything was fucking fast and the furious. It was just it was just it was just like fast cars with wings yeah. and spikes and you know, and, and then easy women. And you, easy you, women who are ridiculously yeah. out of your league. <laughs> Megan Fox has never been hotter and more unobtainable. Very casual homophobia. Very, <laughs> very casual homophobia. It won't age well. No, <laughs> but love to watch it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Crank. That's when he fucking has sex. Amy Smart's super hot in that movie, though. Yes. Um, and they have sex in public. That's right. <laughs> Which is, yes. I remember when I, I, I watched it, I saw it in theaters, and then it came out on DVD, I bought it, my buddy's like, uh, my buddy had a really cool car with the TV deck, like you could put a DVD oh, in well, there. Oh, all right, he got, Exhibit do that to him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he, exhibit, he, uh, he would break into your car. Yeah. He was like a weird <laughs> urban Santa. We are like, oh, oh, look what I got. <laughs> yeah, he would just show up on your doorstep. <laughs> urban Santa? And you wake up, your car's like, oh, I can't drive this legally anymore. I'm going to lose my job. But now I can, you know. That's the joke. Like every, the every joke of it was just. like Kia. Yeah. yeah, every joke of it was just like, um. Check it out in the back seat. I'm putting fish bowls, and you. That's what you. So you. Yeah, and how do you drive with a complete fish tanks around yeah. you? Like, and it's filled with piranha. So be careful. Check like, it out, ah. son. I put a 50 inch TV in the back seat. Well, I can't see out the back now. Nah, it's all right. The people behind <laughs> you cannot watch what you're watching. It doesn't matter. This thing's not street legal. <laughs> it doesn't, yeah, that was the thing that came out this of that show. This is your house now. You understand this? You oh know. man, that was so funny when they're like, "I can't drive this anymore. Yeah. Why? It's too heavy." <laughs> like, <laughs> that's like uh, remember Extreme Makeover where they were doing the houses they were yeah those pretty, were ridiculous that ruined I got people's lives to that show it ruined some people's like the one I think but like so quickly it was amazing to me because they would do one episode and like a week later they'd be like this was a terrible choice for us and then the show would still be on the air yeah yeah what was the one there was something they did a uh they did a fucking uh one and then like like I remember them, like the the people vis- audibly hating it, like not a joke. Like they don't yes. like what they did to the, like they left and came back, and like this is terrible. This is not what I like. Yeah, that, that show ruined people's lives. Yeah, they did one for everything. Everything had to be a makeover. They did all that shit. Yeah, I don't like reality TV. I only like reality TV. I've watched some trash TV, but it's only the it's only like the most C level ones that like if I I know I like want to things be- about the beach. What do you mean? Things about the beach. Oh, sea level. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be quick. Fuck. Um, no, like the like the low level, like you know, as far as like, as far as. Just, have you ever heard of Bad Girls Club? Yes, I love. I that. started that by accident. <laughs> <laughs> just to get out of gym Wait, class. How did you start? <laughs> I'm like, no, no, I'm, I can't do you, Jim. I'm a bad girl. I have to go to the bad girl club where we uh, make bracelets. I don't know. It won't uh, shit. No, I'm kidding. Uh, bad girl club. Was that a tattoo one or? No, it was basically a show where they would get like the worst, like 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 the worst behaved uh, girls. Like just oh, like, do they all have bangs? Because they all ba- yeah, bad they were, girls they were, always have they were bangs. Either it would range from you know very. Um, it was either the most white trash white girls, like, but the ones, like... the Where do you go from there? The ghetto ones. And then you go to very, like, very, you know, it's just the levels of, like, very, like, hood Latinas. Very, like, hood, like, all that stuff. Like, very hood white people. Like, just, like, all in one room. They plied them with alcohol. And they would be like, we're going to work on making you better. It never worked. They would get... There was one episode where I swear to God, one, one girl tried to stab another with a shoe. And they, like, didn't really do much to stop it. Like, what type of shoe? Uh, stiletto. Oh, okay. If it was like a oh, like croc, a, like, that would like take forever. Yeah, it might take a little bit, especially yeah. if they're hefty, but whatever. Yeah. So it was a lot of, yeah. And then, like, it's hosted by, like, yeah, it's all, it's all like, well, like ill behaved girls that uh, just, you, they put them in a house, they ply them with alcohol. They, they don't, like, there's no, like, every night is just them going And out this again. is the show you want. This is your, you don't have cinema. It's just awful. All right. It's just, it's just terrible. It's just like, and then there's the same thing it was like uh, the Netflix show. Uh, what was that one? I watched like three episodes of that one. Old enough? No. <laughs> no, the uh, the one where they're like, hey, go on the island and don't have sex. That one. Oh, okay. That one I watched. Plum Island. Bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we put eight <laughs> sexy singles on this island cover with CDC most viral and That was the last episode reveal. How'd right? you know? <laughs> Calm down. And the tentacles breeze. And the looks, helicopter's leaving. I'm like, ooh, this was a bad idea. Everyone looked like the guy from RoboCop at the end. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Putty Face? No, that was his name on the series. Just Putty he face. came back, yeah. right? Putty he, Face. But he, he came, came exploded. That's I've been trying to find that show forever. Oh, it was on, I think in New York, it was on 
It was on TNT UPN? when I was a kid. It was on Channel 9 when it first aired. I don't there was another it was Co- WWOR. Robocop show. Yeah. Well, no. Prime was... Directives. Oh, okay. That's after. Okay. That's was after. it live action? Yeah, the it was live action. Oh. The animated one was, uh, that's when Putty Face was on. Yeah, that guy who played him in the movie, he kept losing his arms on ER. I don't know if he met. He was an asshole doctor who would go up oh, and, that's right. and a helicopter kept chopping off his <laughs> Everybody always says I look like that guy. Yeah. Emil from Robocop. That guy was like, we killed you. Yeah, that's like, thanks. I'm like, I appreciate it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little uncanny. No, I get it. I have to yeah. dress up like a Halloween for one, one year. I always like doing obscure C-list villains. You get to let, then you're just always in front of a car full of gasoline. You know, well, which was called like the, the, the 8,000 sucks. 8,000 sucks? That was the, the fake commercial with the car. Oh, that's right. It was called like the, in RoboCop, I'm sorry, I jumped all over the place. The, in RoboCop, the fake commercials, the first one they do is the car with the with the dinosaur. I didn't realize it until it, there's this there's this side I buy t-shirts. SX, 8,000 yeah. SX. Yeah, and it's 8,000 sucks. <laughs> I just realized it. I saw a t-shirt for it and I was like, oh, oh I never cool. put that together. And I love RoboCop. So oh, I'm man, like, Vanderhoven, right? He, he only made one bad movie. What was it? The Hanging well, Gardens of Babylon? Was it that one? No, oh, well, close. It was called Showgirls. Oh, that's right. He did Showgirls. That was that was his Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Yeah, but I can't a... sit here and tell you I haven't seen Showgirls multiple times. Yeah, I've Which seen is it at better, least three. Showgirls or binging Bad Girl Club? I'm assuming these are the only DVDs you own. Uh, special edition too with the nipple tassels that came with it. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, such a bad girl. I'll tell you what, because I'll say Bad Girls Club only because watching Showgirls, you have to watch from beginning to end and realize how fucking ridiculous that movie is. Yeah. Like, it's it's an experience. I always tell people, I'm like, like I'm, I'm actually always telling people, like, we should watch Showgirls. And they're like, why? I'm like, because it's fucking ridiculous. It's the most ridiculous story, and it's so oversexed to a point where you're like, it's Cinemax porn. It's so great. Wait, Showgirls was oversexed. Yeah, like, it was so much, like... You watch watching like, Showgirls, like, you know what I think? You girls, you Showgirls... You really got to tone it down with yeah. your sex. No, but it was like, Come not on. that, listen, I don't care. We got to be fin, we fin, I mean, it friendly. didn't make for like, it, did, it It wasn't, it didn't make for the movie that they were pitching it as. I don't give a shit about it. I do not care about that shit. Yeah. But like, it didn't, they were pitching like this fucking story of a girl trying to make it. Yeah. And it's just a story of a girl trying to make someone come. That's the story of old as time. All right, well, yeah. Coyote Ugly, you know. Small Steel Town Girl. Yeah, the uh, flash dance, yeah, miracle flash. worker. What else? It's all about these girls trying to make it. Well, that's it's that's all. That's the story of every every girl, every empowering woman movie is basically that. Yeah, every just I'm just trying to make it, and they do, and they're untraditional lead. But this is not this, I would say. This sisterhood is, of the traveling pants, Yaha, Yaya sisterhood, Yaha sisterhood. Yaha. <laughs> well, that's when they rode around on Yamahas. <laughs> It was like it was a, it was a weird. It was the aughts. Well, the aughts was a very strange time for strange. Time. Is that what we call that decade? The yeah, aughts. The aughts is that yeah. the official name of the decade? Yeah, because it was aught one, aught right. two, and the previous decade. Are we calling the teens or what? That's what I always ask because it was called the the no, it's called the nineties. Well, no, but, the nineties, and then two the two thousand one, two three. Is that the aughts with the zero? Yeah, they're all zero. Yeah, and zero. then that between twenty ten and twenty nineteen. Is what? The are, we teens? Just, are we just back in the twenties? Are you asking that? Well, no. Do we call it the teens? We're in the twenties now. Yeah, we're what in the twenties. What do we call now. it? But are those the teens? What do you call that decade? The uh, that's a great question because what do they call it when it was like nineteen nineteen? I don't know. I like, wasn't there. What, <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty much checked out back in nineteen nineteen. <laughs> I was just loaded up on Benny's and just doing the Charleston on the top of a flat flagpole, ball. Bam, 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 bam. hanging out with Al Capone. Um, <laughs> well, don't drop beat all. <laughs> if you ain't doing that, you're all wet. All wet, I tell you, Chatterhead. I don't know I where that old, came I from. Old, so I love old timey voice. Please yeah. do that anytime you want. Did you ever see uh, uh, Nightmare Alley? Yeah, it was not, right. I, I saw. I saw the beginning of it. I, I always end up watch starting these movies at like eleven, and then I get tired. It sucks, man. By eleven oh five, like yeah, I'm like, Bradley Cooper fucking sucks. <laughs> it was, I, it I just, liked what I saw. It was I liked a slow it. burn, slow burn. But it's, yeah. it, that was the twenties to thirties. I think it took place. It takes place over the course of a decade. Yeah, yeah, I didn't it really goes get over that a decade. Sense, but it, and it's all uh, you know, uh, noirish, noirish, and uh, the sideshow kind of thing. The circus people. Okay. And the way they talk, I'm like, I understand how they talk. I, I they do the old Tommy voice. Yeah, I old because that's how it Suppose goes. I call you a knucklehead. Beard. Yeah, knucklehead. I say. Ah, but uh, gonna go down and give her a little punch in the pajamas. That's right. It's a 23 <laughs> skidoo. I tell you. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I, I, it was actually, and I, just that way I related to the way they're talking like that. Because you, know, <laughs> so you always I, wanted to talk I, like that? I, I don't think I always, I think it was around people that talk like that. I was raised by some people. You were raised my, by old-timey movie kinda, characters? <laughs> my, my mom was an older woman when she had me, and I grew up in a neighborhood of Brooklyn where people didn't leave. Plus, it was a very like isolated neighborhood. It was You're like, from Brooklyn originally? Yeah. It was uh, the section of Brooklyn. That was going to be my next question yeah. 20 minutes ago. Uh, <laughs> well, I knew that, so that's why I'm bringing it back. Yeah, yeah, I know. As the most convoluted way possible. Okay. Uh, but it was like known as Little Scandinavia. You know, like that section of Brooklyn. So, cool. uh, yeah, it still has the Ragged Muffin Day Parade. Like, if you ever... The, the, ho- Bel- the Halloween thing? Yeah. It was a little before Halloween. It's yeah. The, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, like, if you ever on the Bell Parkway and it changes to Leif Erickson Yeah, Drive, yeah, I know that area. That's yeah. that area. That's, yeah, very Scandinavian. Holy so, shit. So, yeah, but, but I grew up there, and uh, my mom was older, and then I was always with my grandmother... Okay. And these old ladies, and they would talk like that. You know, like all these ways. Wow, so, uh, yeah. so you were like, just like hanging out playing bridge? A little bit. Well, they, I would have to set up their folding chairs on the Doreen, corner. Doreen, you need to shut your mouth. <laughs> shut Alidar, your mouth. Alidar, Alidar, you're clearly cheating. Who are you trying to cheat here? Don't you talk to me like some kind of bitch. That's from, great. From your lips to God's ears, I tell you. So I had, my grandmother was um, t- uh, coffee and cigarettes grandma. Oh, okay. So it was more, because uh, I... Uh, it was my, my I have my mom has like five sisters, so they and they all like live around. So when I'm when I was a kid, I get dumped at my grandmother's house mo- mainly uh, during the week on uh, when in the summer when I wasn't at school. Uh, the worst and, time for you, I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I was just inside. I just watched TV for six hours and got, went home. Um, basically, they but they talked like they had the cigarette. They were more like this. <laughs> oh, okay, I had that kind the of the raspy. Thing. Uh, yeah. yeah, let me tell you. Yeah, you know, but uh, she smoked Kent cigarettes, and that was back when I could Kent. still. Yeah, I could. That's back when she could give me a note, and I could go down to the Seven Eleven and get cigarettes. So. Wow. Now that would be. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could go down with a video message, like give this kid as many Come jewels on. as possible. Can I have? <laughs> Can you give this as many jewels as possible? Why? Because. Yeah. <laughs> I went to the store. I do like jewel pods, and I bought as many as possible. You did <laughs> because technically, like the FDA banned them. Technically, they did, but they're still for sale. But well, the thing was, then uh, the company Jewel got an injunction, so they stopped it. You know, so when, when you ban something, how long does it? Usually, there's a date, like from the, you know, they, it's not from this moment. When I knock this gavel, you can no longer. No, but that's what that's know, what I always tell people, and they're like, it's over, and I'm like, it's not like during prohibition. It's like it's like if they they're like they banned pixie sticks. I'm like, they're not rolling barrels of fucking sugar out into the street and hitting it with hammers and let it go down. Like that was the Back only to time. The Simpsons. That was the only time they ever did that. Was yes. when they were like, no, it's illegal today. Every, all the alcohol. Well, no, no, it wasn't illegal when uh, the Halstead ad went into effect. I'm yeah, like, yeah, I mean, but it, it was, was later. It was written, and then like on this date, I, I think it was on New Year's, you know, like the January first of twenty. I'm. Um, 29, no, I'm sorry, 1990? No, shit, 1921? I forget when they went into effect. Whatever you but, say, Tim. But they knew it was lining up, like, this is the day. So, like, but not right when they make the judgment. No, it's never that way. Were, yeah, so. It's never that. It takes time and yeah, paperwork. Yeah, it takes time. You know? Paperwork. Bureaucracy. Bureaucracy. Yeah. Can we get a robot to do all this? I mean, one day, right? One day. Robot president or robot ruler? Yep. Or just robot? <laughs> just robot. Just robot. Robot. Robot, do this. Yeah. <laughs> It'll turn out to be Richard Nixon's head. There are no cabinets. There's just when we become president, this is robot. Yeah. <laughs> so at, in comedy now, you don't do anything for free, right? No, it's it, it's less to do with that. It was more so the people I was. You know, I, I did. I just I just did a lot of stuff that. Um, you're not proud of? No, no, no. The porn doesn't bother me as much anymore. Right. Um, I, the lighting was good. I, good angles, but. Um, <laughs> flattering <laughs> it's very flattering <laughs> but it was just like i just felt i just felt like a hamster spinning a wheel more so not so much like like i'm not it was like it was like on top of that i'm not even getting paid you know what i mean yeah like with this i expect to not get paid <laughs> you know what i mean or you're enjoying yourself more I am enjoying you're myself willing more. to uh... i am i wasn't enjoying my and that's another reason i stopped. i just wasn't enjoying myself which is right. probably what i just should have said you should have done the therapy thing and just Sorry. put it in my brain i did <sighs> This isn't a podcast. We haven't been recording. I just need someone to talk to today. <laughs> this is the, your, your health insurance is so bad that this is all you can afford. Who do you need? I don't know. I relate to Tim. Chris, I need you for a day. We're going to make all these fake episodes so I can... Uh, um, no, but I just kind of stopped doing it because... And it was there was a time when I really liked it because working on stuff like that was cool, man. Like, I got to do a lot of cool stuff when I was doing it. I went to California. I acted and everything. I did some uh, TV stuff. 
I was in like I was like I was like extra work for like Law and Order. I was in SVU. Oh, nice. Yeah, I was in SVU. Uh, in New York. Yeah. Okay. And that was that Sherlock Holmes show they did with Lucy Liu. I did, uh, I did like background work for that. Elementary. Yeah. Holmes. If it was Holmes, it was elementary. No, it was elementary. I think. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I'm Google. Yeah, I don't, don't. I know it's fun to no, say, no. but then that starts fucking. Google. <laughs> oh crap! We're in a loop. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. Um, I like this better. Um, it's just I, I don't know. I've had I, I did it. I, it like the first couple months I did it. I had more fun in the couple months I was doing it. Just in general, because like yeah, there's stuff that pisses me off about. I mean, there's probably stuff that pisses everybody off about the business about this business. But yeah, but like. <laughs> Stop making me laugh. But, like, <laughs> stop fucking... I don't know what I did. Um, but I'm just, I'm just... Just the way you look is funny sometimes. I'm sorry. That's, that's <laughs> so strangely You just purple. made a really funny... Like, you made the funny face. <laughs> um, no, um, I, I just think that... Uh, shit, I lost my train of thought. No, um, I, I just had more fun in, like, the first couple months uh, that I did this than I did with acting. Because, like, acting, you're always, a lot of times in acting, like, a lot of people will be like, you have to bleed for your art and lose sleep and, you know, just, like, show up tired everywhere and everything like that. And I just, I just, I think there are times when, like, you know, when you get really invested in something, that's great. But, like, to do that every time, you know, I'm playing fucking dead body number two. I don't think this, I don't need to suffer that much. I just need to take, punch my ticket and go home. So I looked at it like that and everything. And So it seemed like you were putting way more energy into it for lesser of a reward. Yeah. Compared yeah. to whatever you put into stand-up, you get out of it. Yeah, exactly. So as little Not you put in the stand-up... Into it. No, I understand, but whatever little you put in the stand-up, since you are the your CEO of your company of Joe Winchell... Oh, thank you. Like, whatever you put into it is what you get out of it. Like, you control... Uh, we are at the whim of producers and clubs and whatnot, but still... We're pretty much independent contractors and whatever yeah. kind of work we put into it, then we expect. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of things about comedy that upset me, mostly the business. Yeah. Uh, I suck at it. I really suck at Well, I mean, the like the business yeah. side of things? The business side of things, I'm terrible. I wish uh, <laughs> I wish there was a way, like, there was a comedy HR. Yeah, yeah. So, like, like, I know, and just, like, that was, yes, you don't have to be under restrictions, but at least in some type of a... Uh, uh, lessons you can learn before you go into it because it really there's no other business maybe music uh but like where you i mean music is probably this close second i feel like a lot of i feel like a lot of comedians i meet secretly wish they started a band but this is the best they could do the thing with music is that you're at the whim of other people yeah i mean like you, you could love them and it's also awesome to be up on stage and collaborating with people yeah. but then you you don't have to worry about if your your drummer is off the wagon or or your, your no, it's just you. is having a fight yeah, yeah, it's you. It's actually so, the same thing with acting. I'm like, everybody's like, well, what's different? And I said, well, in acting, they fucking, you, you, they tell you where to stand. They tell you what to wear. They tell you what to say. Yeah. You know, they tell you when to show up. And also, you, know? you could, your whole performance could be messed up because of someone else that you're, you're working yeah, with. Yeah, like, like, that's what I was getting to. The yeah. scene partners, like, if you have somebody that just shows up and you're like, they just not, which is, I've seen happen before, just not feel like doing anything that day. And then the whole, that you're like, well, that, you know, your whole scene shot or whatever like that. Can you name a work, like a movie or a TV show or something, where one actor was so amazing, but it was kind of dampened by someone else's shittiness? Like Anything? a TV show or a movie? Yeah. Has there ever been a movie like, wow, he was amazing and everyone else was crap? I'm trying to think, like, of movie that's like the one guy that's like, man, that guy's so good. Like, that's so great in it. I mean, I know a lot of people say, "What's?" The, I feel like there's a movie that everybody says. I mean, like with uh, Heath Ledger, he was great in it, but what, everyone Dark else Knight? was good. Yeah, I, he was higher than no, everyone, no, no. But, I mean, everyone the thing. was good. I'm trying to say something like where, <laughs> you know, like almost like it takes away from this amazing performance because everyone else is like cardboard. This is gonna sound really fucking stupid. <laughs> the best example I can think of right now is the Street Fighter movie, Raul Julia. Raul, you know what? I, I actually take it. That's pretty good. I can't say a bad word about his perf- I can say a lot of bad things about that movie. Yeah. But I, not one of them is no, Raul Julius. He played it to the rafters. Bison. Yeah. He really he played did. it. He played it seriously. Yeah. He's got the best line in the movie. When the great M. Bison came to your country, uh, it was the worst day of your life. For me, it was Wednesday. And he delivers it like Raul Julius should. And that was like his last yeah, He was movie. dying of stomach cancer during that. Was it stomach cancer? Was it stomach cancer? I thought it was some kind of cancer. I thought it was AIDS. You thought it was AIDS? Yeah. Was he gay? 
You, 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 I don't, a, you, know, you don't have to be gay. To, no, you know, was hey, he like? A, was he fucking a lot then? That's fair. You don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I I haven't. I didn't party with him. <laughs> so, I party with him particularly. At 15. I mean, yeah, we were on the set of Adam's Family Values. I should have set this uh, up as fifteen. Like uh, he's been doing comedy for fifteen years. Yeah, hell of a fall from grace, Tim. Remember, yeah. we used to party with all the. Oh, I, I mean, I was. They, they would always have fun, and they're like, "Wait, who are you again?" <laughs> it's me as a mad dash out of there trying to steal as many shrimp. Puff balls as I can. Pockets full of them. The pockets full of them. Like, why do I do this? I'm very allergic to shrimp. But they're so good. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got the sauce? Of course I got the sauce. Oh, of it's course. It's the whole point of it. It's in my inside pocket. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, that's actually about... You have like one that you can think of besides that? Uh, this you is know my what? favorite topic I, I in the just world. brought up the topic. I Because I, I'm trying to think. Like, there's been... There's some... Oh, God. Let me think. Uh... Da, 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 da. uh I can't think of anything right now. That's sure, the one like, that always it, pops it, it pop in my up head. But yeah, Raul Julia. Raul Julia and Street yeah. Fighter. It's a terrible film, but it's fucking... I mean, I loved him in the Addams Family movies. Oh, the Addams Family movies yeah. are good. I'll stand by both of those. I'll be like, those movies rule. Did you see the trailer for the new Wednesday? Wednesday? I don't yeah. know how to feel about it. I have like, I, I don't mean like that. I'm just like, I don't know what they're selling me yet. I did, they didn't give you much. No, they literally... Is she get, by herself? I don't know Is why she's like a Daria all... situation where yeah. she changed schools? And yeah, like, where's... <laughs> Is, is Pugsley still around? It better be. Where's Thing? It's going to be like one of those weird reboots where they have to do strange things to the characters, like when they made everybody too hot for the Archie show. Oh, Riverdale. did they make him too hot? They Archie made show? everybody super sexy. The The whole point in Riverdale was they were Mrs. like... Mrs. Grundy? Is she hot? Yeah. Get right? out of here. Yo, Chris. Riverdale. Chris, you're a big Riverdale guy? No, no, but what was the... No, no, bring up the picture of the... What was the teacher from Riverdale? Mr. Weatherby? No, bring up... No, Mrs. Weatherby, right? Miss, no, oh, Mr. Mr. Weatherby. Weatherby what was the teacher? Just bring up the teacher from Archie and what they made her look like in the TV show. Oh, stay out of Riverdale. It's hilarious. Yeah, look. There they are. Yeah, the old white-haired teacher. But that's her and the teacher. No, no, no. That's different. That's a man. No, right there. No, up. Oh, that's her. People like this, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. Yeah, I can't remember her goddamn name. Matthew. Yeah, that's her right there. That's Matthew. her. But look how they made her look in Riverdale. Now type in her name at Riverdale. Whatever her name is. What's her name? Grundy. Mrs. Grundy. Mrs. Grundy. Riverdale. Born on a Monday. Yeah. Wow, they're all hot. Wait, that's and, her? And one of the plots of it is Archie Archie was hooking up with her. No. Yeah, there's a whole... Ah, yeah. Oh, this is worse than the animated killing joke. Yeah. It's really the first 20 minutes of that. <laughs> if you cut the first 20 minutes out of that, it's much better. <laughs> then there's no movie. Like, they had to pad it. That's like, what I mean. Hey, I was just... like, then just don't make it a movie. <laughs> uh, because it doesn't a... tie back at all. How does any of that shit tie back? Uh, I watched it, and everybody's like, he was like, didn't that bad? I'm like, I don't care. Mark Hamill said the lines yeah. I wanted to hear. That's what I take away from that. We got Hamill and Conroy for five hours. Let's do something. Go yeah, on. let's do something. <laughs> you know what's good? What oh, if he just... That girl. Like, ah, what's going on here? <laughs> That's he... creepy. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't know. There's... <laughs> it just makes no sense. He knocks her out and knocks him out. Then he just goes, well, I'm going to sleep with you now. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Is it the Cosby show? What are you doing? <laughs> Usually the DC animated movies are pretty good. Yeah. No, they really are. I was just recently watching Constantine. Do you ever, uh... Chris, you gotta turn the fan on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are you, you all right? Are you, no, you it's just a little hot. flushed? Yeah. It is a little hot in here. Um, yeah, uh, uh, Constantine, mad, the, what, All His Engines, what was Helen back? What was it called? It might be that, or Blood... I forget the one. It was the one with, uh... The one with, um... It's like the Constantine guy. It's the guy Matt Ryan who did it in uh, like Legends of Tomorrow and everything, right? Is it him? It was animated. Yeah, it was that's what I mean. But Not he voiced the, the yeah. character, yeah. And he was also there was an NBC series. Yeah, there was an NBC was series. It. Well, what? dude, nobody watched it. I watched it. That was the same yeah, guy. Yeah, like, but you know, it was so sanitary because Constantine. He's got. I don't even. How do you picture Constantine without a cigarette? Oh, oh, no, it's, his fingers, I, but, I don't like how people are like you, you can do it without. And I'm like, no, you, no, you can't. But it, how about this? You could do it with Keanu Reeves, where he's not even British. That movie's not bad except for that part. Yeah, okay. It's a good... Just make him someone else. Yeah. Don't make him Constantine. Why? why? 
it was just one of the things. And I remember watching the background. It's like, oh, we just you didn't want to set it in London. I'm like, that's a nice way of saying you couldn't afford to go to Europe. Whoa, I'm English. You're one of those guys that doesn't like Keanu Reeves. Yeah. <laughs> I like Keanu Reeves, but I don't like him as no, no, as Constantine. I can Constantine, understand that. No, there's a whole. He's almost like the way that the Tom Jane Punisher has his own yeah. fucking. Like, well, I mean, and I that, that there's a movie where everything but him is is bad in it. No, the, the Russian stuff's good. The Russian stuff, that was the only good part. Yeah, that was, it was yeah. Kevin Nash, too. So if you're a wrestling fan, that's also yeah, a Yeah, exactly. Right. But yeah, well, that's the problem. That's why, like, a lot of times, like, I used to, I used to kind of bitch about the Marvel f- movies and everything. But for the most part, like, when I, I had literally, like, we, I mean, I, I remember in the 90s, some of these movies that I would watch. Like, do you remember the Nick Fury movie? That was the uh, NBC TV movie? Yeah, the TV movie with fucking, what's his name, the Hoff? Yeah. And he was like, uh, uh, David Hasselhoff. Yeah, David Hasselhoff was Nick Fury, and he was like poisoned. And then there was, I think, a CGI snake at the end. Was there Hydra in it? I think Hydra was in yeah, it. Yeah, uh, uh, I do remember that. I think you can. It find was like it. a huge premiere. Terrible. Yeah, I have it on DVD. I bought it at a con. I'm they there. were tr- really trying to make the Avengers back then because there was a Thor show. There was a spinoff of. Well, the they Hulk. kind of did it. They there was did. a Doctor Strange. Yeah, there was also right? there was a Doctor Strange movie in the seventies. Uh, there was a uh, uh, the, Fanta- the Fantastic Four movie is the most famous one that nobody yeah. ever remembers. They made the Roger Corman one. Well, like, they never really. That was just made for contract. It was made for contract, yeah. yeah. And it was just never uh, and like to this. Like, it wasn't I've, even made to be seen. It was just made like we gotta make something so we could keep the yeah. uh, licensing for this. So like this technically we made something. It was never supposed to be released. Yeah, that was and that was and, and, like. Do you ever see the documentary about it? Uh. Hmm. It's a documentary called Doomed. Doomed? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Because but basically the story is, like, so they all the actors got these parts that are playing, like, the Fantastic Four and everything, and they got, like, they got, like, super into it. They're like, yeah. no, like, we, and they went and, here's the thing, they went and they did all these appearances for it and everything like oh, that. Oh, no. It's sad. It's like, no, we went to, and it was, like, before then the movie just never came out. They did, like, a write-up in, like, Starlog magazine for all you nerds out there. If you remember Starlog, I don't think they even make that anymore. Um, but, like, it was this. I think that's just a website of uh, celebrities' toilets. Just uh, star lo- that's star logs. You got to make sure you don't put the S on the end. Sorry. It's all right. I understand. Um, <laughs> but like, um, it's really like uh, it's it's really interesting because when we got to Marvel and everything like that with what they do now, like I always tell people like like why are you happy with some of this stuff? I'm like because I got I got like 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 Supergirl. You remember the Supergirl movie? Yeah, it was terrible. Yeah, it's terrible. Terrible. It's terrible. Terrible. But it's got its moments. Anyway. No. <laughs> no. Faye Dunaway is fantastic. Yeah. Um, but, like, that's what I mean. I'm like... It, I'm Jimmy Olsen. That's all you need. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but everybody always talks about how, like, oh, isn't, like, superhero films oversaturated? And I'm like, yeah, they are. I'm not going to tell you they're not oversaturated. They're very oversaturated. But it's also... I come from the standpoint of, all I wanted was this when I was a kid. I get this as an adult. So yeah. that's just kind of how the dice rolled itself. I think Spielberg... Uh, kind of related to the boom of the Western movies throughout the 40s and 70s, you know, like that's the. So they're like Westerns, you know, or the the Saturday matinee movies, you know, where they continue. Oh, like, the like WP afternoon, WP yeah, afternoon movie. Like, it's, so what? I mean, uh, so what's your issue with MC? You say you have a problem with No, that? I don't really have a problem with it. I just think it's the same plot for a lot of stuff. That's it. It's not, you know, it's yeah. very. There's They've made some films that I liked, you know. I definitely, you know, I've definitely liked like Thor 3. Uh, I like Iron Man three. I don't know why nobody likes that movie. I enjoy that film. If you take the explosion, it's the Mandarin movie, issue. It's the it's fine. Everybody, it's funny. I okay. like I like that the director got one over on everybody. I just think that's I think that's hilarious. I think that everybody went in because comic book fans can be intolerable. What? <laughs> the comic book fans can be fucking intolerable. Well, yes. You know, it's like you're you're so con- that's what happened in Star Wars, in my opinion. Yeah. I think you know what happened. They were so desperate for anything and anything good. With now they've gotten so much. A, 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 do you just, like any of the new stuff? Any of the TV shows? I do. Do you like Kenobi? I like Kenobi. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Um, see, I didn't pay. I pay for Disney Plus, and then they throw in the Kenobi. I'm like, this is great. So every week, I got to watch a little Kenobi movie. Yeah. I'm like, that's nice. Yeah. And it was enjoyable. Yeah. And like, I'm not basing my life on this. Yeah, I'm not either. It's fun. It's like. I mean, if you look at it, ah, laser sword people. Yeah, that's really fun. what it is. Jetpack, boom, boom. Like, like you're getting pissed off that like they 
like this is not how the uh, you know book of Luke. You know, this is well, not the Bible. Like, yeah. This is not. It's, that's kind of where I get around to it. Everybody, I remember everybody's like when they made that. I don't know. They made that big announcement when they're making the new movies. They were just like none of the none of the books are going to be canon. And I'm just like oh that yeah. And I was just like okay. Is and it then so everybody weird? lost a fucking lost their minds they lost over that. It. It's so weird how where this originates. Like some guy in Northern California, may, you know, like on a coke binge. Like I can't make Dune, and it, this and now it's here. People like fighting over like certain aspects of this giant. Yeah, pretty much. That's actually a really good way of putting it. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's like all these little things. Like people fighting on. They got. It's like Facebook, like these middle-aged men fighting about politics on Facebook, a website created by a guy who's slightly autistic to rate girls' tits in Harvard. Like the chain. Oh no, Facebook. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I hate my girlfriend, and now it's like a place where people are getting have to be in front of Congress about affecting the government on this website. Yeah, I know. It's just so like Star Wars, where it's gone. I'm like, it was just a stupid cheesy movie that was fun, but yeah. like the lore, and then the people really get into it. And like, yeah. I love it. I love it, but I'm not. I'm not going to scream at someone for their job. You know, yeah, like, you no, should be that's... fired. Kill Kathleen Kennedy. Yeah. Fired. I'm like, whoa. I don't get it. I don't get the. I don't get because like at the end, like yeah, you can say like yeah, they just care about making money. I'm like yeah, I'm sure that's a big chunk of it. Don't get me wrong, but at the same time, I'm like, what do you have to complain about? Like really, what do you have to complain about? There's so much Star Wars stuff, and like so the, we can, there's more Star Wars yeah. now. I've consumed more Star Wars now. Yeah. since they made the last movie, the yeah, theatrical I, I, movie. Yeah, that, that's you're absolutely right. Yeah, because I, I well the TV shows. I watched all the new yeah. ones once. I didn't find. I like the middle one that I like the one that everybody hated in the middle. Which like Book of Boba? No, no, the movies, Last Jedi. I like that one. Everybody hated that one. Last Jedi. Oh, so that was the one. With, that was the uh, movies. Yeah. Snoke dies. Spoiler. Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, right? that was okay. the one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, people didn't like it because like you know who you are. You're nothing. You know, you you you're trying to find meaning, and he's like actually talking to the camera. But that's like you guys are looking for something. There's nothing here. She's dirt. It's She's just, just a dirt girl. <laughs> But it's also saying it's also saying like it's also saying like 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 one of the problems. Kill Ryan Jensen, how dare he? Yeah, it's funny. I know, man. And I just look at it and they're like, well, nothing matters. And I'm like, yeah, kind of like how a lot of people base their lives thinking that they're Luke Skywalker, like they're meant for something greater, and you're not. I I'm looking for Star Wars wise. We're gonna go a little nerd here. Get away from Skywalkers. Like they uh, do Old Republic, which I think they are talking about. I one heard they were doing the old, old like Republic. before times and everything like that. And what about? I don't know much about the extended universe, but like, what about way hundreds of years in the future? Like, you know, oh, like, like past all this shit. Yeah, that'd be nice. Well, like, what's going on? What's going on? Like, come on, do like a Marvel it. twenty ninety nine yeah. thing when it's no longer a long time ago and they come to Earth. I don't know where they have their search. Oh, what's this? Pl- yeah, not a long, long Star time Trek, ago. There's Star Trek three. It just starts with. It just starts with. Or four. What was when? When they go back home? Oh uh, no, three is three when they go and no, search for Spock. Search for Spock three, so. is three, because I I know the first three, and after that it's like four is when they look for God. Uh, is that when they find God? Kind of. I think four is when they go back to nineteen eighty. Five, five is God. Yeah, four they go to the eighties where they have to save whales. That's no, that's Star Trek Insurrection. No. No. No, Star Trek... That uh, was next... Insurrection was next no, that's, gen. No, that, the Wales one was the next gen. No, it wasn't. Maybe you're right. It was Shatner and, and Spock, and they're they're on a bus, and they're with the mom from uh, Seventh Heaven, and she's a marine biologist. And, oh, yeah, that's right. And Scotty Why's helps the them invent for saving the plastic. Are they like space whales? All right, so there's this machine that appears in San Francisco in the era of Star Trek yep. that's destroying everything yeah. and it has this voice and like well it's trying to communicate with who like blue whale but blue whales have been dead since 1987 thanks a lot bro right like you can remember the president from 400 years ago but it's like so like we gotta go back <laughs> I just love the character walking in yeah. it's just like what about whales? Yeah, so they whales like, haven't gotta... been around because President Duba Duba showed <laughs> Oh, that President Duba Duba. No one could understand. Five hundred years ago, I remember Duba Duba. <laughs> <laughs> Why did we elect a bonobo monkey? That was a crazy time in it. Phenomenon. But yeah, that's Don't that start. one. So they went back to save a whale. Two. It's two whales. Yeah. Well, you can't just have one. We were worse than Noah. Yeah, you got, well, they got to mate and make yeah. one more whale. <laughs> and then their kids mate, and then they have all these, you know, 
It was always my issue with anything. It was like, well, we saved every two animals. I'm like, so you're going to get three animals out of this. So yes. there'll be three of every animal. Well, then they will breed with their child. Like, uh, and you get an animal with one big eye. Cool, cool. <laughs> Why not? That's how you get Alan from Invincible. The TV show? The comic show? Yeah. Which one was... Oh, yeah, that's right. Inbreeding. Yeah. I do like that show. Well, what, what was the one-eyed guy from uh, Preacher? Like, remember oh, there was uh, friend... Arseface? No, no. No, uh, not Arseface. His friend in the bayou when he grew oh, up. Oh, uh... fuck, yeah. Wasn't he like a product of, of cousin yes. fucking? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk about comics. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Do you oh, watch wait, any, probably... like, the 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 um like the Marvel TV shows or any of that stuff? Yes. What do you think of... Well, honest question, because I felt like it's all... Some of it's all for nothing. Uh, like not that it's like so, like every other one is good. Like WandaVision's good. I like Cap- WandaVision. Yeah. I didn't like Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I had no plot. Uh, no plot. I you know what? I really believe there was some issues behind the back scene. Really? Because uh, there was some weird editing because it, it was originally supposed to deal with a infectious disease. And oh, what I did hear about March this. March 2020 hit, and then they edit made weird edits. It's disjointed. It, is that it makes- why it's so? Because like the first. Because, like, the stuff with Bucky, I kind of get him doing his sort of, like, yeah. oh, I have to forgive myself. He's got his list. He's got it. A... Yeah, but, like, and then the Sam stuff of him being Cap, but, like, the overall plot where this is supposed to happen. Because you have the U.S. agent, which was cool. Yeah. And then he fucks off, like, he- like episode six for, like, two episodes. Well, and they then need comes to back with Bucky, to, uh... and he's just like, yeah. hey, man, we're friends now. Remember when I tried to kill you with a shield? Like, <laughs> it's like. Yeah, no, it was that was the. I think that was it. That one I didn't like. Uh, the next one was. Uh, I don't think Moon Knight wasn't after that. That was um, Hawkeye. Yeah, it was Hawkeye. It was Hawkeye, that. which was cool. I like seeing a Christmas property for. Uh, yeah, it was. It was. It's a Christmas. It's a Christmas, and I like the the LARP aspect they put into it. But at the same time, I'm just like, I mean, I feel like you could have just made a two but, hour movie. But also, each one is setting up. Young Justice. Yes. I mean, we got Wanda's kids. We got... Not Young Justice. Uh, young <laughs> Justice DC. Don't be a fucking... Sorry. Don't you oh, fucking... Yeah. <laughs> uh, baby Avengers. Uh, young Avengers. That's young it. Avengers. Young Avengers. Young, event, young Justice, Young Avengers. I can yeah, understand. A, a youthful Avengers. Creative titles. Very good. <laughs> God, you guys nailed it. That's why I love the boys so much. <laughs> well, we use a proper right... Oh, I can't know. Did I don't you read know. the comic? I did read the comic. Uh, yeah. Big uh, the boys? Fan. Yeah, the boys. Yeah, that was... Uh, I mean, when I first started watching The Boys on Amazon, I was a little disappointed. Me too. Because, but then I, you know, thinking about it rationally, like... No, it's a medium yeah. change. It's it's different. Exactly, because yeah. Innis was pissed at the comic book industry. This one is so pissed at... he made the at, anti-comic book, yeah. Yeah, he, this guy's pissed at the, the movie and TV industry of, you know, with all the superheroes. Like, like, the comic came out in 2009, so it was the beginning of all of that Marvel craze and everything, because I think Iron Man came out in 05. Wait, was it 09? I thought it was earlier than that. Chris, Google. <laughs> My Google's broken. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm refreshing. What when, when did the when did Iron Man I'm 1 come out? That was 09. 2008. Uh, okay, when did when did yeah, that was the beginning of the craze though? What was the uh when did the boys start running? Comic See, wow! But they have made all the deals at that point. No, you know what it is? They, had, they, had, the Disney deal happened. No, didn't it, didn't it get sold to Disney in like two thousand six or two thousand seven? No, what Mar? No, because Iron Man was made by Paramount, and they they made Ugh, the Hulk. That was they bad. Made, so if you watch it, it has Paramount in the beginning. That's right. Yeah, and that and Paramount still owns the rights. The exclusive rights to the Hulk. That was why you're not going to see a Hulk yeah, solo movie. Never, ever. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so they're still holding on to it. Like, no, he's ours. It worked. I mean, all it we worked. have is Tom worked Cruise out. being a psychopath on film and throwing poop at Steve O. It hadn't worked out for them. Yeah. I didn't see Maverick, but I know it made a shit ton of money. I want to see it in IMAX. I love. I, I saw the trailer, the 10 minute trailer where they showed you. What was that before? Was that before? It was uh, before uh, Doctor, uh, Strange? Doctor Strange. I'm like, what am I? Why is this still happening? I was like, it was like I, I, fifteen I, minutes long. I know it was, but it's the IMAX trailer. It shows like a chunk of the movie, and I, I was like, did because I had heard they use real jets, and I'm just watching it, and I'm like, uh, I'm watching it, and I'm just like, this is fucking insane. Yes. Like I'm like, this is this is literally insane, because I'm looking at Tom Cruise, and Tom Cruise is flying a fucking jet. Yeah. 
And I'm just like, oh, God, I can't wait. And he's going to, like, he will die on screen. That's my Ooh. Like, he will die on screen. Right, that's his, I think that's his actual But I thought. think it's going to be, like, a really stupid thing. Like, oh, you're yeah. just walking and he trips <laughs> he just, and falls just, and hits his head. Just, hey. <laughs> what, didn't a character die like that? Didn't, like, <laughs> didn't someone get pushed in some comic and they just, their neck got hit on something? Oh. And it's just like, he's dead. And I'm like, you pushed him. Like, <laughs> you get... Who was that? I think it was like a Nightwing in like one of the old, like uh, like Injustice universe. Oh, maybe. Oh, yes. I did like that Injustice series. I don't know. I have the, I have all that stuff. It, it went. It started to go a little too long, but like yeah, there was. It a... went too long, but I wanted to play more video games. So it was, yeah, <laughs> true. I loved those games. I was like, yeah, I'm, I want to fight everybody as, as Superman and Batman and everything like that. And the story was cool. Like I like. Uh, Is that the best Superman in any video game? It's the only uh, like good three like of the new stuff. It's the only good version. Oh me. yeah, what's another good Superman? I said the only good. Yeah, that's it. That's what I mean. I said of that's ever. the only good yeah. of the new. Maybe stuff the you Superman said. Doomsday one, which is really just a side scroll and beat him up. But like, there's never they were going to make. They were going to make like a fucking. Uh, uh, they were gonna make like a Superman before they made Batman the Arkham game. Yeah, they were gonna make they made like some stuff for the Superman game where he was like fighting Doomsday and shit, and it was a lot of the same mechanics. Oh, you know what? I think I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was an open world too, yeah. right? Yeah, they look good. I wonder why they stopped. Like, was Superman sixty four is well, the one where you're in the Lex Luthor game. Did you play that? Yeah, I think I rented it. You, you rent- walk, walk into the mi- you know you fly into the mist to go through circles or rings. Sorry, rings. The rings were the toughest thing ever. Terrible. That was one of those games that you ran it on like a Friday, and then yeah. by like Saturday, by Friday night, you're like, "I've this is all I have for the weekend. This is my entire Saturday. Tomorrow yeah. is I don't play. I don't, I don't want to play this. I guess I'll play Smash Brothers again." <sighs> uh, no, I liked. Uh, yeah, there was never there was a Superman Returns game. We okay. had the only cool thing about it was the open world, and you can like fly around and shit. You could like fly really fast, and like it would like break the sound barrier at one Ooh. point. But that was it. The fighting mechanics were bad. Oh. You had to like learn how to use your like. You had to like. Learn how to get laser. It wasn't unlo- everything wasn't unlocked right away, yeah. and I'm kind of like, it's Superman, man. He's got to yeah. have all the stuff. He doesn't learn. He just has the stuff. Well, he did learn, but I mean, as a child, yeah, that's what I mean. So, so, yeah, you know, maybe that's the problem with him. Is he has really such little limitation that they can't make a good game out of it. But uh, hopefully, I am looking forward to that. Uh, what Suicide Squad kills the Justice League. He's I know in that. Not, that's yeah, probably going to be a bad the guy. Yeah, he's, or well, he's, he's not a bad, he, clearly antagonist. he's under control. Yes, yeah. They're I like, think it's a Brainiac yeah, or something. It, yeah, it's a ship right there. Yeah. Sorry, I don't mean to nerd out real Sorry, hard. Sorry, yeah. yeah no, it's, just, it's right there. Is, it's right there. I'm trying not to be a twat about it. I, every time I see it, what do you think's going to happen? I'm like, I think this is going to happen. Why? I'm like, because that's that. I you know what's going to ruin that video game? What? Ezra Miller. Oh, man. He's ruining everything. He's just ruining... I don't care. I'm going to see The Flash. I'm going to see it. I don't care. I'm going to no, see it. No, he's going to... Like, yeah, and then but- they're going to recast... They're recasting him. But I'm just like... It just keeps getting worse and worse oh, and worse. God. Now it's just like grooming. And I'm like, of course. Oh, my God. Of course it is. Because I wanted to see this movie. Like, <laughs> You know why I really like... Oh, he was grooming kids. Uh, in my head, I just see him like... Knitting at some kid, eating the. Yeah. Thing. I'm like, I don't know why. So like, oh, I don't well. know why everybody's <laughs> upset. I'm just, gr- I'm giving haircuts. <laughs> no, I'm eating the lice out of yeah. your neck. Do you, eat, do you even eat your own children's lice? I think yeah, not. Yeah. What do you think this fancy necklace? Is <laughs> yeah. It's all the lice I picked up. Dude, he won clothes. the Oscar for best moment, and then it, or the the Flash moment for something like that. It was like fan favorite moment or something. Oh, okay. That which was... was really cool for the record. In... Oh, when he's running. Like... <laughs> No, no. They made him look less retarded in this one. <laughs> uh, it was, it was like he in in the in the Snyder cut when he ran and he turned back time. Yes. I'm like, all right, that's cool. And then after that, he was like, I'm invincible. And then, <laughs> like, they mentioned I'm gonna you assault. Know. I'm gonna assault twenty people this week. Yeah. It's gonna be fine. I'm the Flash. And they said, they said, don't take away. I remember he was like, don't take away my Flash ring. It was a gift. But this is a billion dollar industry. That's Can they crazy. not just hold him, sit on but this him? This is why Garth Ennis is exactly right. Yeah. That's the boys. He's turning into A Train. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Who is much more of a dick in the comic than he is. Yes. I mean, he is a dick in the show, but yeah, it's a completely different It's a asshole. different dick. Yeah. This is a different kind of dick. Yeah. Well, uh, they gave him the weakness of, I guess, drug addiction. The, they gave him, well, they, they did a lot of stuff with the drug thing, like, because in the show, they, they don't have powers. They get them later eventually, but in the comics, they just have... Spoilers! 
whatever. <laughs> Read this. But like they get him event in the comic they just have him. Yes. Now they get in their CIA program, whereas in the beginning Butcher's just like a rogue maniac that's like, I fucking hate soups. Yeah. I'm gonna kill him or some shit like that. I love Carl Urban. Oh, he's great. He's been in every like 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 comic book nerd thing. Yeah, I mean he he's in Star Trek. He's also he, in he was also a great Judge Dredd. Thor. Yes, I love Dredd. I fucking love that movie. That was a great movie. Everybody gave me shit because they're like there was a movie that came out like a like a couple months before and called The Raid. Yes. And it's called like The Raid Redemption. It was like this kung fu movie and everything about like uh it's like a really it's just like a straightforward like kung fu about a cop that's like fight his way up very bit like kind of like game of death. Wait, no, that was uh I think that was a Malaysian movie, right? It was Mal- No, uh, it was Philippine, like Chris, I can't read that. There's a there's a red light. Uh, what? You're out of hour. That's that makes sense. <laughs> In conclusion, no, no, we can we can go. Oh, all much right. Longer. Bonus time, everybody. I th- because like for the first 15 minutes of it, I was just like hot and like I don't know what to yeah. say. Um, you can edit some of those of just us mindlessly staring at the screen. You can like, tighten some of this up. Yeah. <laughs> Toiten it up. Toit. Uh, I was going to say, um, yeah, I don't know. I think the best comic book property out right now is probably the boys' TV show, though. Because you were saying before, because you were saying, this is interesting, too, I want is uh, Aneth was pissed at the industry, so we made the anti-superhero comic book. Yeah. And, like, it, I remember buying it, not the day it came out, but, like, a buddy told me about it. It was, like, 20 or 30 issues in. So I, like, bought all of these comics and was just, like, the paperback reading. That was, that was the last time I read a book as it came out. Everything else I just get when the graphic novel comes out. Yeah, no, that's usually the best way. Like, because, like... I have so many boxes. It's actually cheaper. It is. Then, like, you buy the issue after if you, like, just for one storyline, and then you got to figure out, well, where's the next one? Who, what line? Because... They got me on, they they'll do... get me on foil covers every once in a while. Oh, man. So, But, yeah, you just buy... Uh, I wait. Like, I bought the Joker book, you yep, know. With I have the, that too. Yep. Yeah, and wait until it came out. Why not? You yeah. know, I just try not to. I just stopped, like, subscribing to all of the fucking, uh, like. Um... Comicology. And... Yeah, because, well, no, no. Comicology has been my favorite thing in the world because, like, all I do is fucking sit yeah. there at work when I'm doing nothing and I, like, read, like, back issues of shit or stuff I haven't read yet because it's, like, it's cheaper to just buy. It's like a buck, some of these things. Yeah, I read, like, Southern Fried Bastard through. Yeah, all Southern Fried Bastard yeah. I read on there, too. Yeah. I read all my weird horror comics on there. And I watched all, I read, watch, I read all of Invincible. I loved Invincible. I, I loved it. I think it's better than Walking Dead. Yes. I mean, I You're love right. Walking Dead, like the comic Walking Dead, but I think it's, I think it's, I think it's a better, more polished property. Yeah, I and think the, Walking, show, the, the animated show, series, I'm loving it. That's fine. That might, so that might actually be the best. It's that and the boys, though, but it's the same type of show, really. It's about It's the anti-superhero show. Yep. It's also J.K. Simmons, who can voice anything, and I'm oh, happy. Yeah. I love... He's in... When he popped up as J. Jonah Jameson again, I was like, that's it. That's this fantastic. movie rules. He uh, should be Grimace when they do the McDonald's movie. <laughs> <laughs> I want him to be Mayor McCheese. Oh, my God, that corrupt piece of shit. Exactly. Yeah. Of course, this is the game I play. <laughs> um, but he fucking, yeah, it's, he's, uh, yeah, Invincible's great. Invincible's fantastic. I like that it's animated. I like that animation style. It's like this sort of weird, it's very comic booky, but very, it's, yeah. it's also like like super realistic at the same time because the way they do the violence in that show. But it's so brightly lit. It looks like yeah. a kid's show. That's what like, I mean. It, and like, all of a sudden... The... Kind of the colors of like uh, the Superman animated series. Remember yeah. that one? Yeah. Or the, the Timiverse? Yeah. Yeah. That was uh, the one I always... That's the one I always feel like gets uh, sort of... I talk about this with Chris all the time. It's kind of pushed under the bridge. And I'm like, it's the best Superman show. Yeah. It's... They did all oh, the... Yeah. All the villains. It's the be- one of the best versions of Dark Side you're ever going to see. Yeah. Oh, when they went all the way through, you're like Justice Unlimited. And yeah. All that. And like, that did, was a great. Yeah. If you watch thing. Superman, it goes right into Justice League, into uh, Unlimited. Justice League rules. I don't give a, going full nerd. I don't give a shit. And it even incorporates, like, uh, at the end, Batman Beyond. And, and like, and, like. That, the epilogue episode. Yes. That's one of the finest pieces of writing they ever did on that show. Like, it just was, like, cool. Like, you know, like, it brought, even brought Status Shock into it. He was part of yeah. the league, which That's I was. Right. Love That's right. Static Shock. I loved all those comics and everything. Um, he was like the breakout star out of those. What are they called? Century Comics? Yeah, well, before they were acquired by DC. Yeah, I but think, they were yeah. like... Uh, was that the Image Guys? They were part of no, that? No, no, I don't think it was that. Oh. Someone write us. Write a letter. Write a letter. Write a, uh, you know, send us a postcard. I'd like a, a, a self-addressed te- stamp envelope. I'd like a, a singing telegram, please. Oh my God, it's been so long since what I got one. What do you got? Static Shock. Why do we bring up Static Shock? I mean, it's cool. Quantum Justice. What was oh, the? No, that was the no, Virgil is a great name. 
But when did um, what was the what was the what was the label that it was under or the the company? Milestone. Milestone Comics. I was yeah, like yeah. Century. Milestone. Century is kind of like Milestone. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. See other confused. Comic book uh, companies always have names. Ninety three. He goes back that far. Yeah. Ninety three. Wow. Well, that was started. That was like they. It was all the all the black artists and writers oh, got McDuffie. together. Yeah. Yeah. They got. Yeah. All, well, yeah. Duffy brought them. There's that a great documentary bastard, about it. Yeah. He brought all these guys together and they said we're gonna do all. You know, we're gonna get. We're gonna do all black fe- comics. You know, and everything. It's gonna be about something that no one, no one had really written that before because. Jack Kirby invented Black Panther, so I, I, it's not really perspective. You know what I mean? It's not, yeah. you know, this was all writers and everything. There were some cool fucking comics in this, though. So, all right, talking about... Sorry. Because there's <laughs> so many comic properties. That, are any of you looking forward to coming up? Like movies, TV shows? I, the stuff anything? I like, they don't... They adapted a lot of stuff I liked already. It's just not going to continue. Like, they did Jupiter Ascending. What was the one they did on Netflix? Oh, that was a movie. No, 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 not the movie. I, I said the not the one with what's his I, name. I know what you're talking about. It was, but it was something with the planet Saturn, right? Yeah. Some, what, oh, yeah. It was a it was, Netflix, and it was it's how a, unmemorable. That is. No, it was a good show, but it's I, a lot of it's a lot it's, it's a lot of exposition because it's like a really yeah. It's it, this is what happened. Alan Moore came along in the '80s and uh-huh. was like everything uh, turned everything on its ass, and then everybody was like, "That's super awesome." We're all gonna copy that, and yeah. that's what this. That's what everything is now. Everything is just Grant watching. Morrison, yeah, just Grant. like just scribbling and like psychopaths. Like this is what it should be. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, like Sandman. Is. Are you psyched about Sandman? Yes, especially after the trailer. Okay, I love the because I, I was listening to the audio book where it's like fucking uh, uh, what's his name? What? Yeah, Jupiter's Legacy. That's it. This all was right. a good show. I do remember that. It yes. was a cool like concept. To go to that island, right? Yeah, yeah, and it's more of a concept yeah. of like. Who wields power? What does it mean? Like all that shit, and they had a lot of classic looks to it. But I mean, they all have done this now. I know, From but that's, Watchmen to like it's. But that's uh, what, that's why that's what I mean. It's all Watchmen. It's just yeah. all Watchmen. You know, um, I mean, right now DC is teasing uh, the, Doc Manhattan coming back right again. Now in the that comics. was a good crossover. Yeah. But yeah, with the the Flashpoint, the yeah, new. I read that whole. I read the whole thing into it. I was like, this is cool. Yeah. Can't wait to read it. And it was um. It was dark and it was it was it was it was what it should have been, you know. Yeah. I was like, yeah, the Lex Luthor stuff was cool and everything like that. What about you? Psyched about uh, Black Adam? Yeah, I don't know why some people aren't. Well, I mean, it's weird to think of a movie with The Rock where he's not running around the jungle. Also true. Yeah, like wait, he's doing a movie where he's not in the jungle. Well, so it's did... a Fast and the Furious movie. Like no. We oh. did. He did uh, the the rundown that takes place in the jungle. Uh-huh. He did. I think Hobbs and Shaw takes place in the jungle. Yeah. Or they go to the jungle by the end of it. Uh-huh. No, they do. It takes they, 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 it takes place in Hawaii at the end. Wait, wait. Where did Jungle Cruise take place? Uh, San Francisco. Ah, that's right. <laughs> Different type of jungle. Different types. Concrete jungle. Concrete jungle. And then he did Jungle. Yeah, he did Jungle Cruise. There's something else he did. Well, no, he did a he did a movie where he was a fireman with one leg. Oh, yes. It was a uh, watch, not watchtower, skyscraper, I think it was called. Skyscraper. Yeah, they did a lot of CGI. In a jungle. They did a lot of skyscraper. In, the Rock is skyscraper in a jungle. Yeah. Uh, even Jumanji. Jumanji, yeah, he did two. So that's two jungle movies. One, two, two jungle, rundown. It's like four or five jungle movies. He likes being sweaty. That's kind of his thing. He was a wrestler before that. Yeah. I feel like that, yeah, yeah. So he's just kind of, yeah, just just maintaining his brand, really. Yeah. Was he the Tooth Fairy? All right, good. He was the Tooth Fairy. He was also... Never let him forget. He was also in the game plan. That's right. With the, the little kid appear. Like... Yeah, he did like two I Have a Little Kid sidekick movies. Okay. That Disney era, like... Yeah. Stuff that would have been hits when we were kids. You know what I mean? Like, like remember when watching Milk Money? Oh, my God, yeah. Which is really the... just a story about kids trying to hire a hooker. Yeah, Melanie... Melanie uh, Griffiths with the hooker. Yeah. Like, the hottest hooker I'd ever seen at that time. Yes. Uh, and Ed Harris is the dad. That's right. Ed Harris is the dad. That's a good Disney movie. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> Disney's moved away from their uh, line of prostitute movies. No, well... They started with uh, Pretty Woman. They did. They even created a whole... Like, like we can't have this under the Disneys, because then technically she's a Disney princess. So they, I think they made Hollywood... Or Touchstone? Maybe it was Touchstone. Touchstone yeah. No, Touchstone was a, is a subsidiary of... Uh, no, I think that's what Spielberg... Say that word again. Subsidiary? Okay. Did I do it right? Sure, it's close enough. Ah, you're judging me. But what, subsidiary <laughs> of what? Of, I think, uh, like, what, Spielberg's company or something. I think that's Spielberg's company. No, you're thinking Amblem. What's the one with... Which one are you saying? This is know. great. I'll play this game all day. A24? 
A- That's Disney, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right? I would love it. I would love it. Well, Disney... Well, Hollywood Pictures and Touchstone, but Touchstone might be their home videos, because I think Dick Tracy was on Hollywood, maybe Hollywood? Uh, Dick Tracy... Technically a Disney movie, but they didn't put it under the Disney banner. No, but it was so. That's what it is. They had they have the company pictures? that they can do. Hollywood, Hollywood Pictures might yeah. have been it because yeah. Hollywood Pictures did the Mario Brothers movie. Oh no, they did the Super Mario. We got to save that for another episode. Oh God, we're at. I'm just we got Chris five, we got five will, minutes left. <laughs> Chris Pratt will save them. We have five minutes save left. No, I'll Mario. have you on. I'll be less awkward the whole time. It's all right. <laughs> No, we'll do this with it. Maybe wearing kilts. Would that make you feel... I'll just do it when it's not so fucking hot out. (laughs) All right. But do you have any shows you want to plug or anything like that, man? Oh, all right. So uh, I think I gave it to Chris. I forget. Chris, where am I going to be? Harvey Vineyards. Oh, what day is that? (laughs) The 16th. The 16th of what? So on July 16th, <laughs> July 16th, they'll be at Harmony Vineyards in uh, Head of the Harbor, which is also St. James. It's a beautiful uh, vineyard. It's going to be outside with me. Uh, I'm hosting that with Lori Pomentary and Dennis Rooney is the headliner on that. Uh, later in the month, where am I later? Seven thirty tonight. I will be at Finfest <laughs> tonight. Is it tonight? Oh my God! I'm late. July thirtieth. July 30th at FinFest with Keegan and friends. So ah, my Keegs. So it's just me and a Big Mac. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding, Keegs. He's like more than that. Sorry, he doesn't watch the show. <laughs> yeah. He's too busy. I know, he's, he's a busy. busy man. Um, but, uh, all right, man. I don't have any shows? I do. Um, <laughs> Chris, what shows does he have? I have no idea. He no doesn't one know. cares. Uh, my next is... Uh, <laughs> July 8th, I'm going to be at the Giggle Room. July. Is that how you say yeah, it? Yeah, July. Today, Junior. Um, July 8th, I'm going to be at the Giggle Room at Governor's in Levittown. Who's uh, on that? Oh, Terry McNeely's headlining. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so come on down to that. You get your tickets on governors.com. Uh, uh, and uh, after that, I, the next night, actually, I'm going to be at Farrell's Tavern. I think George Gallo is actually headlining that one. All right. Uh, and then nothing until Milton, Pennsylvania with Fat Jay and the Skinny Pants crew and uh, Billy Geyer. So skinny Pants crew? Is uh, Joe Cravello and Dan LaRocca. Oh, my God. Those pants are skinny. They are skinny, oh yeah. Oh, my God. This is the skinniest. Do you have trouble, like, helping them get them on and off? Do you have to, like, talk them up to make sure they get them no, on? No, the talc so? actually doesn't work, actually. Especially, what? No, it doesn't. It does, because what happens is you put too much in it, 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 it gunks up and everything. And oh, then the pants slip off. <laughs> Save it for the stage. Yeah, people. exactly. But right. well, thank you Tim, for having me thanks on. Thanks for coming on, man. This is the first, I think it's the longest conversation that you and I have ever had. Yeah, and last. Yeah. <laughs> You're probably right. <laughs> uh, this is my most awkward episode, but probably the one I had the most fun with because you know uh, a lot of the shit I do. So. Thank you. I appreciate it. No, I appreciate it. Uh, I'll have, have you on again. We can talk comics that only you and I understand. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> Will do. So, uh, all right, guys. So, as, as always, like, share, and subscribe. I hate that I have to say that every time, but please do it. And uh, um, this is Tim. He's waving goodbye. Goodbye. Don't judge him. Don't judge me. Only I could judge God. If you want to judge him, though, send me emails, and I won't tell him about the judgments. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, So like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in, guys. My name is Joe Winchell. As always, this is Millennial Stoner.